Recording is on. Okay, the recording of resume so. If you are raising your hand, you want to say something. If you don't want to say something, um, I will crack on. Okay. I will continue. I hope everybody sees see my screen. Yes. yes okay. Sir. Yes, we're, very we're, yes, we're in change management. Change management is very, very key. You need to, is a, is a, is a more of a, a politics. You need to lay out, you need to buy key stakeholders over. Uh, even the staff, you need to buy them, you need to make them understand why there is this change, why this change must happen. And you must make provision for training after the, the change. For instance, uh, if your company is uh, using, um, uh, let me say, Microsoft Dynamics. Microsoft Dynamics is um, is a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software. From my, and your people want to, to migrate to SAP, uh, S for HANA. SAP, S for HANA is still a CRM. Uh, software, but SAP uh, uh, got uh, machine learning where it, use, it uses machine learning for sophisticated data analysis. So maybe you people want to be understanding your customers or your clients in a very uh, sophisticated way. Some people who, who are already trained on how to use uh, Microsoft uh, Dynamics they know now when uh, uh, you people migrate to SAP, it re will require them to go and start a training and learning the SAP, which is not good for them. And these people are people that might stay in the company for, for 15 years, 20 years. So you cannot just push them around. They have paid their dues. So you need to try to buy them over. After buying them over, you must make arrangement to train them, top scale them. These are the, uh, the duties of uh, uh, change managers in a project. So, like um, this one is uh, project managers. A project manager, you monitor and control all area of the project to ensure successful execution ensuring project delivery deliverables meet quality expectation outline at project initiation um, document implement and manage change where needed you need to manage your stakeholders that stakeholder management Create a project schedule and timeline. Deliver and install technology car solutions. Create a project plan to track and monitor the project budget and resources. Monitor project risk and issues. Lead quality assurance. Manage multiple projects simultaneously. As a good project manager, a time will come that you have a, a complementary project. This project cannot do. So you need to find the, and the organization wants you to manage, manage these uh, two projects simultaneously. Then you should be able to do that. Um, for, instance, for instance, if we are planning to start up this um, university or this online university, which requires a highly sophisticated integration. Highly sophisticated integration means that we need to uh, build a complex website, just like the one we are using now. And again, 
we need to integrate it with um, Zoom functionalities. These are two different projects. Building the, the project itself, uh, Zoom integration, and uh, we need to equally build a payment gateways where people can pay while uh, trying to buy this course. You see, three different projects. That's how uh, you have to know how to manage these three projects simultaneously. And the integrator is called integration. Most of I mean, many a times when you are managing this kind of project, it's a kind of a project integration. So you should be able to manage these uh, three projects because the people designing the website might be different from the people uh, trying to package the the, the 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 Zoom integration, and they might be different from uh, people packaging the payment gateway for you. So these are three project team. You should be able to know how to manage these three uh, team very well. Uh, in a, this is uh, at this point, it, it might no longer be a project. It now become a program because it's a, a program is where. Um, more than uh, one related uh, project, like two or three related projects are going on simultaneously. Um, a good project manager helps develop team with project design. You need to help develop, um, develop um, development of team with the project, like the 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 business analyst is the duty of the business analyst for the product or product design. He designs everything. He designs the solution. And the project manager implements and makes sure that the project is being delivered on time and on budget. But you need to understand the product that you are trying to deliver on time and on budget. So you need to work with the business analyst to understand the project requirements, what the business analyst is doing, how he's developing um, and designing the, the, the product that you are going to manage. A project manager helps uh, define scope and goals of the project. These are one of the first things a project uh, manager needs to do. When you are getting a project, uh, a project mandate, uh, the, the, the first thing you need to, to understand is the project scope. You need to, to, to work with your stakeholder, stakeholders to define the scope. Defining the scope, the goal and objective, uh, mainly you do that using a project charter. Project charter is a very powerful document in project management. We are going to come to that. We are still at the preliminary stage of project management. So we are coming, going, we let our go deep into all these things. So you need to uh, define your scope. Uh, you know, we have templates for all these things. So you don't need to panic. All everything I'm stating here, we have templates that will guide you to do it. So uh, that is uh, one of the good things you are going to get. And after training, I've I've gone for fresher courses in so many places. You just go there, they read the slide for you, and you go home. It's up to you to go and know how you just sort yourself out. But here, not only reading slides, we, we discuss it with you, or you give you the, 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 the template you used to. Just like uh, after teaching you how to you give you the tools you need to use to do your job, and even the textbook. And you design the project, you must, there's no way after four months, you will not be a powerful project manager. No way. And a good project manager must uh, assembling project team members and uh, managing the team's expectation. You need to assemble. Once uh, you get a, a project uh, mandate, that is a man, project mandate is a, uh, the kind of project brief, what you are meant to implement, what you are going to do. You need to call a meeting, try to identify who, 
is who whoever is a um uh have a stake in the project you need to identify your team members assemble them and then you people need to look at the project mandates and then or how to to kick start your project so you should know how to uh, uh, call a meeting facilitate workshop you know a project manager you should be able to to talk to people you should be influential you know you should know how to manage people very well uh you need to be firm you need to be able to to say something and mean it without um hurting people so you must know we are coming to all those, those all those things going to come under soft skills of a project manager so see what those things you need to be influential you know how to so you must be able to manage your team without uh, hurting their feelings The next uh, role uh, is, um, uh, you know, when I was uh, initial, I just stated all this and I, may, I described them a bit. This one is a uh, project support. If I say something about it. project support, uh, support with uh, support with all administrative tasks, diary management. These are what things I have said earlier. Support in coordination and planning of the project, uh, support in the coordination of reports, develop and create effective communication mechanisms. So these are some of the, like in this our, in this our uh, training, you know, this is a big project. In like communication strategies, for instance, um, Icolysis, which is the admin, have been assigned the the responsibility of coordinating it. This is what he's doing is a project support officer job role, you know, trying to uh, create effective communication, answering query, making sure that everybody is comfortable. You know, managing a project of um, we have. Uh, up to um, 270 people registered in this uh, uh, in this program. You need to coordinate them. We need to make sure that everybody is happy. You need to make sure everybody is where they are at every point. So, like some people that are not um, in this uh, um, uh, this live session, it may be if they are they are they are willing they don't want to be here, but if they are they want to be here but maybe because of technical difficulties so it's the duty of the project support to affect all this communication you need to be communicating with them to make sure that they are being carried in projects it happens like that some people might just you know like that you need to drag them some people will be trying to carry them along they'll be difficult so you need to create strategy to make sure that there is smooth communication. Uh, this is a um, PMO uh, analyst, a project management officer. You call it project management office analyst or project management uh, officer. You provide um, project uh, management support, ensure st standardization within the project standardization means following the best practice you know following the, the the project plan you cannot create a project plan where the project plan say that uh, uh, in this project we are going to adopt um lean methodology to manage this project and then you you start uh, why you start implementing when you are implementing the project you start using a waterfall methodology a pmo will not a pmo a good pmo analyst will not allow that you must have a reason for migrating from one methodology to another methodology and it must be documented and validated if it's, if it doesn't happen then you you stand the chance of losing your job um pmo analysis creates common 
set of principles and the practice to help and support with governance processes. Creation and designing of project management templates. Every organization have their templates. You might have a very good template, which like I said, I'm going to show, share templates with all of you, which covers the best practice. But if you are joining any organization, you cannot just say because your template is uh, one in town that that's what you want to use or you, you understand their template more than every other. Before you start using your template, you must ask questions because so many organizations have their own template. So you have to use their own template. <coughs> PMO analyst, um, management of financial and budget forecasting is still the duty of uh, PMO. You must make sure that you are following the financial um, budget forecasting uh, diligently. Gather data and track performance of multiple projects. Like uh, I said, a, a PMO is not managing only one project. You can be managing multiple projects, looking at their performances, projects that are not uh, performing you just report to the management because as a PMO analyst, you report to someone. If you don't report what you see and the management find out, it means that you as a PMO analyst, you are not competent and you stand chance of uh, chance of losing your job. A PMO analyst manage resources uh, forecast, capture projects, change, request and track any change implementation just like i say you cannot um change from the original project um, a plan if you must change if there is a need for change you must uh, follow the due process which is a change request and change request is when you document the reason for the change and you pass it to the relevant authority after they are examining and they are happy with the change you are proposing, they will approve it and they get it validated, and then you can proceed with the change. Then we have um, change manager. Change manager is responsible for change management, which we discussed earlier. We focus on uh, the people side of change to minimize resistance. And like I said, people resisting to people are resist resistance to you have to focus on them. you have to win them towards that particular um, project, that particular change initiative. Like I said, a lot of people don't like moving, um, leaving their comfort zone. You know, if you have to change, every change comes with a benefit. Like now, you are now, instead of uh, maybe, I know so many of you are working class. You spend all the day toiling around, working hard, and then you come back home now. Instead of you to, to shower, eat your food and jump into bed and rest. You carry a laptop that um, you are starting a, a training. This is a change in your life. It's not easy. Some people will not, uh, Some you can see so many of us in this, um, in this uh, program, many of us might not be here because they are tired. They don't want to, they're just tired because of their daily activities. So these are the uh, times they resist. Instead of, uh, I sure let me keep on with this, my job. I Must I be an IT professional? So you, you remain in your com uh, comfort zone. So that is resistance to change. And in a project, it's the duty of uh, a change manager to convince people to, to support the change, the change initiative. Change manager manage all 
changes to business processes, systems, and technology, successful implementation of change strategies to promote employee adoption, create a um, resistant management plan. This issue of resistance is not easy. You must have a template on how you manage resistance. Is a big this this uh, change manager at times they are even more powerful than the, the, the project managers in the organization. Uh, you must lead a change management activities, assess change impact and uh, assess readiness for change. Support training need complete change management assessment, coach and support the project team. It's the duty of the change manager. All this is just to make sure that you win them, make sure that they don't struggle with the change. And when they don't struggle with the change, it means that the project uh, will be delivered very well. And project is not just about delivering the project. They are called the uh, post-implementation. The change manager looks at the post implemented after the the, 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 the the change has been implemented. You make sure that the the, the, the customers or the employees they don't um, they don't struggle. Well, most IT, most digital, most digital uh, project management is about organizational changes from one software to another software, from one software. All this IT, you are hearing IT, IT, IT. If you are hearing IT, don't panic. There is no need to panic. IT is just how to manage um, technologies um, like um, softwares. You have been using software. Website is a software. Your phone, you use uh, all this application in your phone, uh, Facebook. You, they are all softwares. So you, if you can if you can use all these things very well, manage them very well. You are an IT expert in your own way. It's just that you are not a professional IT uh, expert. Uh, so when you, you you keep hearing about IT, don't uh, be overwhelmed by the word IT professional. Today. You know, don't. Um, you know, what we've just discussed now is um, career as a project manager. Areas you can practice, you know, you can look for job as a project manager when you finish um, this training. What you can do. That's what... But now what we are going to look as look into is the role project management team. This is not career like in project management, a team, a team, a, a project team. We have cross-functional members in that team. So their team, what are the roles? Then we have project manager. You are the chairman of that uh, project, number one. Then you have a project sponsor. Project sponsor owns that project. It might be a client. You know, if you are working in a consulting firm, which so many of you will soon start working in a consulting firm, you can have a, maybe you are working with a KPMG, Accenture, or Pricewater. And um, Zenith Bank approached you to implement a uh, Zenith Bank app, mobile uh, app for them. Zenith Bank, in this regard, is the project sponsor. They are sponsoring that project. They are the client. They are part of the project because they need to monitor the way you are doing your project. You are going to see everything when you join your work experience. The work experience is going to be a consulting firm. 
you know, where you'll be um, delivering a solution for, for clients. So you are going to see everything. All these things I'm saying now, you start, you start um, seeing it in a practical application. Another role is uh, project team members. Project team members can be, at times we call it uh, the development team. And these team members at times comprises of web developers or we call it developers, um, business analysts, uh, scrum master. Uh, these are the testers. These are the project um, team. Depending on, you can even contact creation uh, creators like a web graphic, um, web um, web designers. Depending on the kind of project, the, all these people can come in as into the, the project team members or the development team. Then you have stakeholders. Stakeholders are the people that have vested interest in that project. It could be as it could be a senior project manager, it could be a program director, it could be an, a, a delivery manager, it could be just um, a subject matter expert. A subject matter expert is somebody who are, who, who have a strong knowledge in that area. So, for instance, if you are trying to implement a Microsoft Dynamics 365, their CRM, if you come to the organization, you must have someone who must be doing a CRM rule. If it's maybe you are implementing dynamics from on-premises to on the cloud. Maybe you are trying to migrate the dynamics. Maybe you people are using on-premise before and now you want to be operating from the cloud. So there's someone that's been using that dynamics. You need to, to he should be part of that project so that he, 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 the, the person knows the problem the company is having regarding that particular area. So you should be able to, to, to monitor what you guys are doing, make input to make sure that after the, 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 the change analysis must be, um, the gap analysis must be identified, that the solution being um, developed and deployed will solve the problem they are having. So the subject matters part is the person that have this, the, the domain knowledge, the market knowledge of that particular solution. So it's part of the, the stakeholder. So those are the, the stakeholders. In the, one of the projects I handled, the robotic process automation, one of the subject matter experts, when I, I, in that project, I was a business um, analyst. I wasn't a project manager. So I was meant to collect uh, a data, call it a data collection or um, requirement gathering. So I was facilitating a session to collect a requirement. And this lady is the person that knows everything that I was looking for. But I tried for two weeks to get her to have an interview with her, but it wasn't possible. She's always busy. And I was meant to deliver that project and uh, present my business case within three months. And two weeks is gone already. And I'm not collecting. So you see me falling into a uh, scope creep. So these are the challenges. So these are some of the, the, the risk. I quickly, you know, log, log that into my risk log and uh, lucky enough, uh, my project manager 
who works in the company direct because then I, wa I was working there in a, on contract basis. So the project manager intervened and uh, got me the documentation I was looking for. Um, we crack on. The project manager, as we mentioned above, the project manager is responsible for managing the project management knowledge area throughout the project. The project sponsor represents the customer of the project, depending on the organization. There can be different level of uh, uh, sponsors. We've we'll talked about uh, uh, sponsors. They are the clients. Team members are key professionals who work to contribute to the um, process of providing deliverables, managing risk, and achieving the pro uh, project goals. And the uh, stakeholder, this is a person or a group who has vested interest or stake in the project. The project manager must communicate project process to stakeholders throughout the project life cycle. You need to manage them, need to communicate with them effectively. You need to carry them along if you if you know we are not going to have problem with them. So we are going to come into that uh, very soon. And now we are moving into another um, big topic, a detailed topic, and uh, that is going to be um, project management components. These are the components you need to manage very well in your project. So as you all know, we need to be good project managers. We need to work with time. And as you can see, we are, the time is now um, two minutes to nine o'clock. So we are going to stop here. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to start from project management component. And I believe by tomorrow, we'll be able to move faster because today we'll have delays, people trying to, uh, to, to get in, people, a lot of things. So, and we can see uh, things are working the way we wanted. You know, a lot of people have already left. So, but for some of you who stayed back, well done. It's not easy. But if you want a change in your life, you must be ready for that change. You must be ready to leave your comfort zone. And that's what so many of you are doing. It's not just about jumping into, into this program because it's a free course. And uh, at the end of the day, we won't participate. You won't do what you and you want to be a project manager. You want to work from home remotely. You want to be making money everybody, and you wouldn't want to pay uh, do the, the 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 needful pay the uh, the sacrifice. So we are going to stop here tonight, and I want to hear from you uh, before we close. Just one or two people, and we close. Okay, thank you very much, um, Mr. Charles. Um, it has been an amazing session. I, frankly speaking, I am not happy that we are coming to an end, but just like you said, we have to learn to be good project managers and we have to stick to the scope and timeline. And yes. uh, sure, we're looking forward to another, another amazing session tomorrow. We'll be here and we'll try to be on time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It has been um, a wonderful session and we look forward to more interesting sessions tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, that's um, a nice um, a nice one from you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Uh, we keep collaborating. Um, 
through our our forum and um, believe me this is going to transform a lot of people's lives and i i want it to be you good night and uh, we see you tomorrow uh, so we can finish up and move to the next level thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank we you appreciate sir. It, sir all right thank you sir good night. Thank you. Yeah, good, good night good night, good night everybody sir. Good night, oh, thank you, sir.